Hey, what's up guys? Q&A, today we're gonna be talking about crossover slopes. So just like we said, we're gonna be talking about DB slope. So we're gonna get into the question. This question is from Sherman from Facebook. And um, my Alpine CDE receiver has a built-in crossover with a 12 dB per octave slope. My amplifier has a built-in crossover of 24 dB. Does the slope of the receiver and the slope of the amplifier add together to make 36? So before I start to answer the question, for those of you that may not be familiar with what a what we're talking about here with a decibel slope, um, there is 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, 48, etc. I could keep going. So as an example here, a 6 dB slope will drop 6 dB every octave and so forth. So a 12 would drop 12 dB, a 24 would drop 24, 36, etc. So now you have a little bit of a visual representation of what those slopes look like. We're gonna go ahead and answer the question. But basically the question was, if I have a 24 dB per octave slope crossover coming in for signal into my amplifier, and my amplifier has a 24 dB slope, does that equal 36? Well, the answer is yes. And to show you that, we're gonna use a program where we're gonna overlay a few different things so you can see it. So uh, here you can see a uh, 24 dB per octave slope. We basically took some white noise, put in a filter at 1K at 24 dB. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stack two 12 dB per octave slopes with white noise also at 1k. So using our program you can see the two 12 dB per octave slopes nearly look identical to the single 24 dB per octave slope both at 1k with white noise. So pretty much to really sum it all up I think like I said in the beginning we've talked about this before it's always ideal to really use one filter. So sometimes your radio that you might have your aftermarket radio may not have a lot of features. Um, some radios may just have a high pass filter, a low pass filter. They may not even give you any slope adjustment. Sometimes they might give you 6, uh, 12, 18, 24, depending on the type of head unit that you have and multiple crossover points. So that's great and all. Obviously that might give you a little bit more flexibility than what your amplifier would offer. Some amplifiers are preset 12 or 24. There's no switch, there's no adjustment whatsoever. Um, so realistically, you're really gonna wanna go with whatever gives you the most flexibility to tune your system. That's just my personal opinion. So as an example, if I had a really high-end deck that had um, a 12, uh, a six, a 12, an 18, a 24 a dB per octave slope, a capability, I would probably more than likely leave my amplifier full range and I'm gonna do everything at my head unit. Maybe my head unit doesn't offer a lot of flexibility, but maybe my amplifier has a few more functions on it. Then I'm gonna go with my amp. Usually you're just gonna always typically wanna have one, you're gonna wanna use one crossover. Or for those of you that have a nicer processor, you're gonna leave, wanna leave your head unit full range and then you're gonna use everything in the processor and cross everything over there. Choose all your, your slopes inside the actual DSP itself and the amp's gonna remain full range. So realistically, at the end of the day, they do stack and that's why it's best to get the most accurate adjustment for your system and the correct settings is to use one filtration method. So either the head unit or the amplifier. Otherwise, they're gonna stack. It's not gonna be right. That's not what I would suggest. Now, word of caution, guys. Obviously, if you're gonna use your built-in crossover and slopes in your radio and leave your amplifier full range, the downside is if your battery ever dies in your car or you take your vehicle in for service, and they reset something or they have to disconnect the battery, all those settings on your radio are more than likely gonna reset because power has been disconnected from the radio. So the caution part is that if you're not familiar with your equipment and somebody else gets back in there or maybe you're not understanding of what happened, oftentimes the radio is gonna reset back to its factory default settings, which means those slopes aren't gonna be set, your crossover points for your high pass or low pass filter aren't gonna be set, and now you have no filtration on your amplifier. So one, it's probably not gonna sound good, and two, you run the risk of damaging the speakers uh, that are connected to the system because now they're not crossed over properly, and if you aren't aware of that, then you're gonna damage them. So it's really important to know your equipment. Again, guys, I hope that helped you. I wanna just say thank you, Sherman, for uh, asking the question. Uh, I'm glad we could hopefully help. Uh, and uh, of course, make sure you subscribe, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all the social media outlets. Uh, keep those questions coming. I'm Alan. I'll see you next time.